Hey guys, welcome to video 3. This time we're making the aluminum reel frame that will attach to the reel foot from video 1. I've decided to split this piece into two different videos to detail the two processes I used to make it. This model shows all the features that are made in this video. After this, the rotary table will take over to complete the part like you see here. So let's get started and roll into the tool setup. We'll start on the lathe with this piece of 4 inch round bar. For the cutter, the standard indexable cutting tool will suffice. The first thing we're going to do here is square up the end of the workpiece, both on the face and on the outside diameter. To begin marking out the features on the part, I used this center drill to give me a place to put the calipers. These marks will give me a rough indication of where to stop cutting. Now we can begin bringing the face down to its final dimensions. To make a small recess for the thrust washer that sits behind the drag knob, we'll use this small boring bar. Next we'll define the final outside diameter of the frame using this cutter. The last thing to do before flipping the pot around in the chuck is to put the small corner radius on with the file and then touch it up with some fine grit sandpaper. So 
So while trying to part off the piece to turn it around in the lathe, somehow I completely shredded the teeth off the gearbox and the bandsaw. I'll make another video soon on how I plan to fix this gearbox, but in the meantime I had a friend use another bandsaw to part off the piece for me. So we're going to skip right to flipping it over and putting it right back in the truck. These super high tech soft draws can only be purchased at your local grocery store. Here the frame is faced off to be its final width. The next thing to do here is to bore out the majority of the material to create the cavity for the spool. We'll start this by using a center drill. Then we step up to a 3 drill bit. Now moving up to a 3 8 inch drill bit. And then finally this half inch bit will give me enough room to clear the small boring bowl. I'm only going to use this smaller boring bar until I create enough room to clear the big one. That one always seems to cut a lot better than this little one was. This tool is a lot more rigid and holds much better cutting inserts than the smaller boring bar does. To finish out the bottom of the cavity, we'll switch back to the standard lathe cutting tool. I briefly switched back to the boring bar here to clean up the corner of the cutting tool left. To start the hole needed for the main shaft to ride in, I used this half inch end mill. Once I had a start, I then switched to the cutting tool.
After working with this tool with it stuck so far out of the tool holder for a while, I realized it wasn't very stiff, and I switched back to the boring bar even for the facing cuts it works pretty well. Just like the back side, I'll finish this side off using the file to put a hand radius on the corner and then polish it off with some fine sandpaper. And that completes all of the lathe work for this piece. In part two of this video, I'll move to the mill to cut the rest of the features. And if you haven't seen them already, links to my other videos are in the description. Thanks for watching.